this is your fairly standard Royer oscillator based Helicraft compact fluorescent ballast. This isn't what you call a transformer station, though it does contain two transformers. That big yellow one right there is the primary power transformer. That's what's actually driving the lamp. And there's a little tiny, very blurry on this toroidal, uh, toroidal transformer. That's just the base drive transformer for the uh, two power transistors there. Although this is still pretty badly designed. Like that capacitor there is rated for a maximum temperature of 221 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about the operating temperature of this ballast in operation. Since inside these things it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than the ambient or than the exterior temperature of the ballast casing, which is still about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. They weren't really hot. But what they don't tell you is that the maximum temperature rating on the capacitor is for an operational life of 2,000 hours. These things are supposed to last 10,000 hours. Not good. And of course also the lead-free soldering, which is crap. They don't last. They form all kinds of nasty dendritic uh, formations in any kind of ambient humidity. Also known as metal whiskering, which is not good. And of course the transistors are not heat synced, which is also not good for longevity. They do have provisions for it, the shiny little metallic bits, and the holes are for the screw. But they don't, because they're cheap, because it's made in China, which means it sucks. Yeah. Those are much better.